If you have ever binged on Netflix then you probably have come across the next episode button whose job is to basically auto play the next episode before you have time to think about going to sleep Let's design that using basic HTML and CSS Creating a button is pretty simple we just need to add a button tag inside the body To style it we give it a class of next episode In the next episode class we first take out the border give it a border radius some padding and while we are at it let's increase the font size as well and for now let's give it a background color of white now how do we animate it or a better question would be how do we create the loading effect we will have to use the background property of course but we will increase its size to twice that of our button horizontally The first half of our button is going to be white and the second half gray. Then we will try to move it through our button so that we get our desired effect. Simple. Let's change the background property first. We need the first half to be white and the second half to be gray. We can solve this problem by using linear gradient having a step. Then we fix the background size. This line will make our background twice the size of our button horizontally and the same size vertically. Now we play around with the position a bit to see what happens. This part is a bit tricky though. The background position when we give values in percentages works in this way. When we give the background position as x percent, we say that the background spot that is x percent from the left should correspond to the container spot that is x percent from the left. This is all good, but then how do we calculate where the background is going to lie relative to the container for any arbitrary value of x? Let's use some logic here. What should happen when we give x as 0? The left of the container and the background should align. And how about x equal to 100? In this case, the right end of the background and the container should and will align. That means we have to move the background to the left by the difference between the container width and the background width when x equal to 100. So if we have a container of size 100 pixels and background of size 200 pixels, the difference is going to be minus 100 pixels. we can call it the offset and when we put the position as 100% we are essentially moving the background by all of the offset that is 100% of minus 100 pixels which says that move the background to the left by 100 pixels similarly if we give 50% as the position we have to move the background by 50% of minus 100 pixels which is minus 50 pixels essentially the formula to calculate the left offset for the background is offset equal to container width minus background width times x percent where x is the given background position in percentage where we move the background to the left or to the right depending on the sign of the offset left when negative and right when positive so now we give the background position property to the next episode class and get our desired output but the button appears gray for now as we can see when we give the background position as 100 the button is gray and when we give the background position as 0 the button is white so we just need to animate that over a period of time to get our desired effect we can do it using animation and keyframes first we will create a simple keyframe where at 0% the background's x position is at 100% and at 100% the background's x position is going to be at 0% we can then apply the keyframe in the animation property inside our next episode class with a time and then we are done and would you look at that we have finally created our button thanks for watching